Sussy, Clara, Danny, it is so wonderful to meet you all. Congratulations on a really incredible and surprising episode of Black Mirror. I am a huge fan of the series. And one of the things I love so much about it is that it asks questions. And it actually has some like, I think, really important resonant things to say about, you know, society right now. So I'm curious for each of you, what was the theme that most resonated for you? I'll start with you, Sussie. Um, I think that the theme of, um, yes, I, I guess the meditation on celebrity culture that mm -hmm. we have um, now that we had then uh, what's carried over from 20 years ago into today and how it's changed. Uh, you know, yeah, that to me, I think was, was interesting and, and how we choose, uh, to see these, um, the celebrities and, um, what we think we deserve from mm -hmm. them or sort of mm -hmm. expectation of an image. Um, yes, that, that's what I thought was interesting with, uh, this episode. I agree completely. How about you, Clara? What what stood out to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I completely uh, agree with what Zussi was saying. Uh, how you know society finds it morally okay? Well, I guess it's 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 wavering to to commoditize people to that degree and mm -hmm. be, you know strip them of of humanity. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I've always found that horrific, but really fascinating how that is such plays such a prevalent part of our society. A lot less now, but um, it's still it's still there in a different mm -hmm. way. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And how about you, Danny? Um, well, I think uh, the theme that maybe not is what probably not the one I started off with, but the one that ended up being the one I walked away from is I think it being systemic. It, there is, mm. there is a snitch involved. There is, there's people that are giving tips as to where people are. There is the magazine that buys the pictures. There's the middleman that sells the pictures. There are, um, then obviously the, the, the audience. And so it's, uh, it's, it's a full system at play. And so it then made the whole, me look at the whole thing instead of just like someone's the villain and someone's the victim it felt like everyone was a tragedy of circumstance. And so I just think the moment that you put a price point on anything, it then opens it up to, um, especially if it's legal, quote unquote, it opens it up to everyone's differ differing moral guidelines on what it is to be, mean, of what is privacy or versus what is a part of the job that someone signs up for when they sign up. So I think those questions that are posed and there's no definitive answer, there's, um, every character in this is flawed on both sides they they also have both like good great qualities and but i i think it becomes more of uh the system at play is is the theme that i i walked away from is like what um yeah it's just uh i guess capitalism <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm no kidding or, i i whatever. I was really struck by the way that like when you put technology between people, like it blurs the lines around consent. I don't know. I thought this was a really, really interesting episode and I really appreciated it. Um, as I'm sure you guys probably know, it is Pride Month. And so we're kind of dealing with our own kind of social dystopia at the moment. I'm curious if any of you guys have like a message for the queer community that you'd like to share. I, it's a yeah. Be yourself. <laughs> I, love, I love authenticity and and truth and honesty with um, every iteration and across the entire spectrum of identity. And I think that everyone um, should have the right to just be. So I don't know if that. Yeah. 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 Well said. Seconded and standing in solidarity across every every issue that's being battled out right now. And I think, uh, yeah, um, it's frustrating and seeing some states and how some uh, some people are handling it is, is infuriating. But um, but yeah, standing in solidarity. 